We drive from Cody and spend the night at Twin Pines RV Park in Lander to get to Steamboat Springs, Colorado to explore the area. Stay tuned. We left Buffalo Bill State Park in Cody, Wyoming to drive to Steamboat Springs and stay at Steamboat Springs, Steamboat Lake State Park. Um, the drive over was gorgeous. It is a long drive. We spent one night on the road at Lander, Wyoming at Twin Pines RV Park, which was fine for one night. It's nothing fancy, but it's a great stopover. Um, and then the drive to Steamboat was gorgeous. However, we did run into a wee bit of road construction but at least the scenery was pretty enough that it was okay we just fixed a sandwich while we sit in traffic this area of the country is absolutely incredibly beautiful um we are we're from florida so we're flatlanders but we're not used to them when they say they're redoing a road to just remove the road and redo it so we drove on a bit of dirt during the construction, but finally started hitting some towns. Word of warning, there are no fuel stations in Steamboat Springs for big rigs like ours. Um, there's, it said there was a Loves. Trust me, it's not true. It's, it's sort of a Loves, but it's not a real love. So um, fortunately, we had a spare fuel tank, so we were able to use that and be okay. Our site at Steamboat Lake State Park, it looks pretty here. Um, it wasn't the best choice. There were prettier sites. We did do some bicycling and sitting outside. Tuff loved it. Um, and, and the other puppies did as well. The area is gorgeous. I, in retrospect, I wouldn't stay at Steamboat uh, Lake State Park again. It's way up the mountain. I mean, way up the mountain. So to get back to the... Um, Steamboat Springs, you're like 30, 40 minutes down to get there. So there was um, side-by-side -side riding up on the top of that mountain, though, and a lot of uh, boondocking sites, the dry camping sites. So if you're dry camping or if you have a side-by-side, -side, there, there's stuff to do there. Um, we did drive around the area quite a bit and explore the, the area. It's beautiful, but it was really um, setting and raining while we were there. So we um, explored what we could and, and it got cold at night. I mean, like 30 degrees and, you know, we're from Florida. We don't do cold. So we stayed for, I think, a week and then we went on to uh, Cripple Creek. So here's some photos of while we were there. This is a pretty short video, but it gives you an idea of the area. So hope you enjoy We did go into Steamboat Springs for their um, their uh, farmer's market and walked through some of the shops, which was pretty cool. But other than that, we didn't do a lot of hiking while we were there. We explored a little. There are quite a few hiking sites. Um, we did do quite a few drives around the area. Totally enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I don't think we would stay at the state park again. It is electric only. And it's so far away from Steamboat Springs that to go down to do anything, you're you're pretty good ways away. But um, it was fun. And the other thing is, there wasn't fuel the direction we came, and there wasn't fuel in town for our rig. There, that's a trucker friendly. So if you have a small rig, you'd be okay. But for us trying to get in, um, there just wasn't one that was convenient for our rig.
We did enjoy our stay here and, and driving around the countryside and exploring a little bit, um, but it got pretty cold at night and pretty hazy. Um, the morning we left, we got up early and left to drive to Cripple Creek, and um, they had to climb up on the roof of the camper and break the ice off so we could pull the slides in. So it and this is August, so it gets pretty cool there. So, but it was a lot of fun and. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned next for Cripple Creek.